Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you're all well, trusting you're all good. Um, just want to share a word that I got. I was um, I got this on the 6th, 2nd of August, 2024. Uh, this is an encouraging word, really. It's a, it's a word about revival. It's a word um, about, you know, I believe the next move, coming move of God, which is going to be very, very soon. And, and it's even, we're on the cusp of it. I think it's already starting to begin, you know, so, you know, that kind of way. But anyway, I'm going to deliver this word. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just, just go straight into it, okay? So, an apostolic anointing is going to come on people. So I see this, it's a wave of a new apostolic anointing. And the funny thing is, um, I, was, I, was, I was teaching the Bible study the other day, and the Lord led me to look at the qualities of Paul the Apostle. And he had me teaching about the qualities of an apostle, you know? And... Um, I just thought it was just kind of to gain some understanding, but as we were worshiping the Lord, I really had that sense of knowing that, no, this is a new wave of the Holy Spirit that's coming. It's an apostolic wave of the anointing, right? And I caught that. So anyway, this is the word about, about this, right? So this new wave of an apostolic anointing is going to come on the remnant people okay the remnant church of god those who are walking with the lord closely with the lord right and um, it's an anointing that's going to begin a work that god has called them to so it, it's a it, it's god it's like the equipping of the anointing for the work that god's already destined that believer to do you know you know um so god in this with this anointing god will re be releasing through it callings, anointings, giftings, destinies, okay? Um, it will be a very strong apostolic anointing and it will come out of the power of the Holy Spirit. And I really felt with this apostolic anointing, which has kind of been condemned a lot in many churches, you know, they, they felt that, you know, you know, only the original apostles um, were to have this gifting, right? But you know something, God is an eternal God and every, when God speaks something, it's eternal. It, I mean, God was showing me this recently, he was giving me this revelation about himself, about him being eternal, all his words are eternal. So when he speaks words, they're eternal, they last for eternity, you know. So there's, they can't go out of fashion. God's, how can God's words go out of fashion, you know, this is like crazy. Anyway, so... This apostolic anointing, it's kind of, it's like a, a fresh wave of the anointing of God that is going to come and that is going to issue people into their callings. But I felt the apostolic anointing, it's like new beginnings, you know, it, it, for me it, it felt like new beginnings, new beginnings of ministries, new beginnings of churches, of ministries. Do you know what I mean? Of um, it's like a baptism into giftings, you know, and that that's kind of the the sense that I got of this anointing, right? Um, I also had a sense of the governance of the Holy Spirit. So with this is going to come the governance of the Holy Spirit over His church. So where this antichrist this antichrist system is rising up, and we're experiencing and seeing it right now, right? Um, and it's going to continue to rise up against us. I mean, the French Olympics that happened just there, you know, for me, the strong point was that the, that the enemy was showing his colours. The enemy was showing us what his end game is, which is the mockery and the taking down of Christ, Christianity um, and Christians. Do you know what I mean? Really, that's, that's his end game. We know that from the scriptures, you know, that there's going to be persecution is going to come to the church in the end times, you know. But anyway, um, so that's what the enemy was showing us. So this antichrist system that's rising up now against us, um, God is going to be putting a very str strong call on Christians where we are going to push through and bring in God's governance. That's we're going to push through and bring in God's governance. And that's so encouraging to me. That is so, so encouraging to me. And I'll tell you for one, because the churches of today, if you go into the churches of today, all the pastors are about their own flock. They're all here anyway. 
they're controlling their own members, they're controlling their own flock. There's no real engagement with other churches. Um, if you go to another church, the other church, the pastor is kind of noticing where you're coming from. And, you know, if pastors ring each other to find out, like, um, oh, is so-and-so now at your church? He should be in my church. I mean, honestly, this is what's going on here. I don't know about anywhere else over there. But, you know, but, you know, to have God govern his church, to have the Holy Spirit come back in and govern his church. And it's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom of God. It's not about people's churches it's about God's kingdom it was always about the kingdom of God but people get tied up in knots with the churches pastors get insecure want to hold on to the their congregation and keep them as babes do you know what I mean because then they're not they're not having the bigger mindset the bigger perspective this is not about churches this is about God's kingdom you know God's kingdom that's what we're that's what it's all about um so that's encouraging to me. God is going to bring his governance back in the, into the earth. And I believe that this will be with power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It will be, it will, you'll know, you, you know what? You always know that God is in it when you see the stamp mark of his presence, of his power, of his power. You know, and a lot of churches that shift away and start getting into control, they lose the power of God. You stop, you do, stop seeing people being saved. You stop see, seeing people being delivered. You stop seeing people, you know, and praying in tongues and having prophetic words and moving. That that dynamic goes out of the church. So if that's your church and that dynamic's gone out of your church, then maybe you need to recognize what's going on. You know, um. So anyway. So I believe that it will be with power and the anointing of the Spirit. Many people will come into their destinies at this time because of the anointing. And I just encourage you, if that's you and, you and you've been waiting on the Lord for years and you want to be used by God and you're seeking him and you're praying and you're reading his word, and um, this is going to involve you. This is going to involve you. Get ready because um, God is about to do something, right? Also, God revealed there were many Christians who do not realize that they're in a war and they are not equipped to do battle as soldiers. And this was really important. The Lord was giving me revelation into this, right? He was showing me there were so, so many Christians and they're not aware that they're in a warfare with, with the enemy of our souls, which is Satan is the enemy of our souls. And we need to be constantly engaged in that warfare and just watching and covering ourselves, covering our families and engaging in that warfare to subdue him. Do you know what I mean? To subdue the enemy, to cut him off any entrance into our lives. But people were unaware of this. And as a result, I saw that there was um, the hedge of protection was down, was broken down in some areas as a result of this. And this gave the opportunity for the devil to bite these Christians at their heels. So that's what I saw. I saw the snakes biting at the heels of Christians. There were things that were tormenting them. There were things that they couldn't get the victory over. There were things that was um, subduing them, oppressing them. Do you know what I mean? Because the enemy had an indoor to bite at their heels because we weren't recognizing the warfare, the spiritual warfare that we're in as believers, you know. Um, okay, so this means that there's a level where the enemy is able to get at the believers and gain some smaller victories over them because of this, you know. Um, but that once, okay, so we need to, we need to take up Ephesians chapter 6. It tells you how to dress yourself in the armor. Like learn Ephesians 6 and begin to recognize that when you're in this, it's a battle. You're fighting. You're fighting a, a warfare. I mean, to be honest, we know that we're fighting against our flesh, but we're also fighting against the enemy. He uses that against us as well, right? But I've, then the Lord showed me something else, right? Something really important here. That once we recognize we are in a warfare and we begin to see into the spirit realm, we begin, begin to see into that realm of the spirit through these weapons given to us by the Lord, 
that when we see the enemy and when we see what he's doing against us, we can conquer him. We can conquer him. When you see the enemy plotting a scheme or a plan and the Lord gives you spiritual insight because you're in the spirit realm, you can disarm the enemy. You have power to disarm him. And that's what the Lord was clearly showing me, right? Whenever we see a demon in the spiritual realm, he will be conquered. He must be conquered. When you see him, you must conquer him. When you see a demon, you, he's there. He's been a you. You've been you've been given visual eyes, open a spiritual eyes, to see him because God wants you to conquer him. And any time that happens, you know that you can conquer that enemy because you see him. Um, because he has also been exposed into the light, the Lord has has exposed him. Um. Just an example of that, right? I have a, a close friend of mine, who, my prayer partner, actually, and we were at a meeting there not so long ago, um, a, a, a very bigger prayer meeting in another location. And while we were in the, in the prayer meeting, um, she got, um, a, you know, sh she saw two demons in the meeting that were trembling. They were, and they were shocked to see her. They were shocked that, that she could see them, you know. And it's just funny because we always just work very in the spirit together. And after the meeting, I really felt led to to minister to this girl. She was uh, uh, Indian in her origin. And I began to minister to her. And as I was praying for her, she began to open her heart to me and tell me, you know, that she was very oppressed. That every night at three in the morning, she would wake up and she could never, she couldn't get back to sleep. And this was going on night after night. And she was very tormented over it. And um, so I began to pray for her and like immediately these demons, this demon started to manifest and I had my friend then come and the two of us prayed for this girl and we did great deliverance on her, you know. And uh, so that goes to show you when you see the demons, man, the Lord is showing you, I'm going to deal with these demons. I'm going to take these demons out. That's what the Lord um, reveals. You know, that's the, that's what God is revealing, right? So take up the weapons of your warfare. They are mighty in God for the tearing down of strongholds. We are dealing with witchcraft. We are dealing with occult spirits, often portals. Um, the Antichrist will use, uh, sorry, and every strategy the Antichrist will use against us. So we will have to much more operate in the realm of the spirit and, and we'll have to up our game on this. So God gives us the revelation that we can conquer him and not be taken off guard. The other revelation was about fear. And I kind of spoke about that in my, in my other um, video. So I don't know if I need to really go back into that. Um, yeah, but so that was just so encouraging. That was just encouraging to me that... Um, what God was 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 going to do. And I also um, did hear another um, preacher also talking about this apostolic anointing. So I believe that was the first confirmation that I've heard someone else talking about this. So, um, you know, God is on the move. He's going to do something fresh. It's going to be something different. It's going to be something that we haven't seen before, but it's going to be like the book of Acts again. That's what it's going to be like, do you know? So, and I'm, this is exciting. This is exciting to know that that this type of move is, is coming, that God is going to do this kind of move. So, um, yeah, I just want to share that. God bless you, brothers and sisters, and those watching, those tuning in. And I'll speak to you again when the Lord gives me something to share. God bless you all. Bye.